What's going on, everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here, back again with another Under the Hood, Episode 5. This is Chapter 4, Season 3, Aggressive Solo Gameplay. This is actually like during a night stream, which I never stream at night. We were hitting our shots, we were playing well, so let's get into it. Now, this first recording is actually the end of the previous game, and I happened to get it on the same recording, so I figured a little extra value, let's go through a little end game scenario right before we get into the other game. Right here, we are down to three players, me and two other players. I've only got four kills, sadly. I don't know what happened here, but whatever. But we've got this hill, and we're supposed to probably be moving to zone here, but I know that there's two players down here, so I kind of want to hold high ground. And I caught this guy off guard. And now he's kind of like stuck between me and another player. So I'm just going to keep putting pressure on him while trying to play safe and not getting snuck up on. We're going to pull out a shockwave here and basically we're going to throw this at him to just like, you know, completely throw him off and overwhelm him. Throw him out into the open and hopefully finish him off. Maybe get the other player to fight him. Just make it easier for us to get in a nice position and get some advantage in these fights. Uh, so now he's out in the open, he's trying to find some cover. And look at that, we didn't take any damage there. Now notice, I killed him and I'm immediately moving. Because the way that this game works, we all know, as soon as someone dies, you're gonna get third partied. <laughs> you know, the survivor of that fight is getting third partied, especially with only three players left, just you and two other guys. You kill one of them, the guy's going to be on you uh, immediately. So as soon as I kill him, I'm out, I'm sliding, I'm trying to find a position that I can be in to have an advantage if he pushes up this hill. See, so yeah, I'm setting up a nice little right shoulder peak, so if this guy comes up the hill, I can pop out, take a shot at him, pop back into cover. Um, and that's what we do. It seems like he has an auto shotgun. It sounds like a maven. And so what we're going to do is basically use the right shoulder peak and good cover to take advantage of our Havoc pump here, which is going to deal more damage per shot as long as we're not allowing him to hit our body over and over again. And there we go. Easy kills. That would have been a much different fight if I would have stayed out of cover and just been trying to, like, ego challenge him. He doesn't play this quite well. He probably could have gotten on the top of the rock, maybe, and, like, put shots on me. That would probably be the best move for him to do to get an advantage because I was playing the cover well, and he wasn't going to win this if I was using a pump. Which he should have realized I was using a pump the first time I shot him right there. He shouldn't have kept pushing me like this. Um, because he just made it easy for me. Anyway, so that was that little scenario there. I thought I'd just show you that since it's on the recording anyway. All right, now we're in the, the actual game here. I'll show you the place that I drop in. So... I'm actually... It looks like I'm actually lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because this place is actually hard to find. It's to the left of Creaky Compound. It's like this little waterfall right here. It's like covered by a tree, so it's hard to see. Typically, I will drop in. This is one of my favorite landing spots because it's got one of those rift portals and it's got good loot and basically no one drops there. And then it's also near Rumble, which has the mythic AR. And it's also got a bounty board there and, and uh, a purple Havoc pump that is always there sold by Meowsels. But uh, I think it's right here. This little waterfall right here from the Citadel waterfall leads into it. And that's a freaking reminder for myself because I always seem to be <laughs> losing it. Okay, so we're coming in now to the drop spot. This is what it looks like. It's got that waterfall. It's got this little rift building right here. It's got a bounty board down here, and then it's also got Meowsels over here to the right that sells a purple shotgun, in case you're wondering. It also has a res bus here. Also hollow chests right here at this building that's behind the res bus. Just FYI. Okay, so we got one guy contesting. I just picked up a blue pump, and what that means is push, basically. In my mind, if you can pick up a, like a nice gun, a nice rarity shotgun or a nice rarity SMG off the rip, and you have the advantage because you've already dropped and the other guy is like still landing, you better get in there and just try to get some free damage on him. So that's what I'm doing here. Looks like he didn't drop. Notice that I, like, I push in, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. And then I quickly realize that he is not here. And with that, says to me is okay let's just keep looting because we only have these two weapons and i don't want him getting like an ar or something and then having like a big advantage on me so i'm going to keep my eyes peeled and then i'm just going to keep looting we didn't get the the kill off the drop that's fine we're not in danger let's just keep going and so now i'm going to hit this rift this statue right here is a 50 percent chance that i open the door 50 percent chance that i rift either way i'm happy with it because if i rift i can look and find out where this dude is look at that he's right here on this bridge i'm not sure if i actually see this guy right now I see him right now, but I don't think I saw him when I was playing. 
think I must have just seen him, right? Yeah. So now notice I'm using this tree to cover myself. Like my glider, he obviously sees my glider. 120, 140 meters out as gliders on visual. And I'm using that tree to like mask myself so that he can't see me. Now I've got high ground on this guy. So we set up a nice little high ground play. He just got a huge disadvantage in this fight. So now I'm just waiting for an easy shot on him. Catch him off guard. I hit this little mushroom here. And boom, easy. Now notice one thing about these aerial plays, right? Anytime that you're like falling towards someone or shooting towards them with a shockwave or whatever mobility it is, if you can shoot in the air, you want to wait till like the very last moment to pull that trigger. Line up the shot, let your reticle like fall into them, line up the shot slow and then pull the trigger once you get very close so that you get max damage. They're going to have a very hard time hitting you as you come in because you're moving so fast, but they're pretty much stagnant and still, and it's pretty easy to hit them. So yeah, turns that into a free fight. We only take like 20 damage. He gets us some shields. That's sweet. We're going to go up in this little building right here and shield up. Never shield out in the open because you just never know who's around, who's watching you. And look at that footsteps. So good thing we weren't healing out in the open. Very good chance we die right there. So we're going to go ahead and take high ground. Always take high ground if you can. This is a nice little spot to play this at. Nice little pump. Notice I don't drop down here. I just keep the advantage. Okay. I had my weapon set up weird. Normally I'd have my finishing weapon in my third slot, but... Nice. Easy kill. That may have been an AI. I'm not even sure. Okay, so we're playing advantage here. And I gotta say that I'm proud of myself here because I have been playing a lot smarter lately. The old me would stand on this ridge and just continue to fire at this guy and like basically just have an aim duel and like see who wins. But I'm like, you know what? I got a white flapjack. He's got a havoc suppressed. That has a little bit better like bloom if you like continue to hold it down so i'm just gonna go ahead and get a new angle right make it hard for him i also let him move and like i'm gonna catch him while he's trying to run up these stairs that's death if he goes down there that's death he really can't do anything here this is just a, a fight that i win already because i have this high ground i've got the head glitch he really can't do anything unless he gets up and we we're even reloading he still like makes it halfway up before even getting shot but he's still just like in such a bad spot that it makes it very easy for us. Now notice I didn't like go in and like try to run up to him and shoot him in the face with a shotgun and like deal close range damage because I've already got the advantage. I don't want to get in a close range fight. I don't want him to deal heavy damage to me with a shotgun. It's just wasted damage, right? Like what's the purpose in getting hurt for another person to come finish me after this fight? So just going to keep the AR out and just keep spraying. This thing has a huge magazine. I know that I can kill him in one clip. I'm just going to like pace my shots, focus in, uh, just like aim at him basically and hit him opposite of lazy aim right focusing in and like watching and hitting those shots i wasn't stressed at all i was just like okay i just need to keep hitting this guy i'm not even gonna swap weapons this is just faster and i'll take less damage so that's what we do got a decent loadout definitely need a new ar i would be great to have a different flapjack so right here i'm looking for the key augment this is often something i do and the key augment is pretty pretty common but mythic munition is great as well. So now we're going to run a sniper pump mythic pistol loadout. And we're going to go back over here. We're going to open this door with the statue that we didn't touch. You can slap these benches now. Pretty much everything breaks in one hit now. I don't know if that was like an intentional update they made, but most everything just breaks with one pickaxe hit now that chests are on. So that's great. Just saves you a little time. Okay, I'm scoping things out a little bit. Uh, this bridge, this little staircase has like a, a rope, like a net, yeah, that's holding a box in it or with a chest. So I just hit that staircase because it's easier. Nothing in there for me. Nothing here either. I hear gunshots behind me and I just got two more shockwaves. I'm pretty excited about that. So I mark that because I just don't want to get like turned around and kind of like forget where it came from. So that's often something that I'll do these days is like if I hear gunshots, I'll mark it because sometimes you can get in a fight and then like turn around. And you're like, wait, where were those gunshots exactly? I'll just mark it and uh, it makes it a little easier to find the future. OK, so this guy's coming across on a zip. I'm in a real bad spot. Uh, so I'm just going to shock out because I don't want to get like fried. And we just took another another gunshot just came at us from behind us. So now we're kind of in between two players. 
So I'm going to push up a little bit, put this other tree behind me so that I have a little more cover from that guy. And then we're just going to keep moving. We don't want to get pinched and stuck down here at the bottom of this little ravine. You know what I say about the jungle floor. If you've watched my other videos, don't be on the jungle floor unless you've got mobility, unless you've got a vehicle or a raptor or whatever. So just try to get up high. That's what we're going to do here. Okay. Decent play. I don't love it. I think I know why I did this, actually. I missed my snipe shot. I don't have an assault rifle. So basically, I need to push up because that's my advantage is the short range loadout that I have. I have a purple pump and I have a gold pistol. So I'm just going to go full send here and, uh, you know, line up our shot. Again, what I was talking about, line up that reticle as you're flying through the air. Notice I'm not swinging my reticle onto this guy. I'm just letting it fall into him. And then I pull the trigger and boom, we hit him for 66. And now this guy's scared for his life, as he should be. <laughs> He's like, what just happened? And that's because, you know, you get a nice shot to start off the fight and you basically just get to win it, you know? Well, that's just kind of how close range fights go. If you get the big first pump shot off or the big first shot off and hits heavy damage, it makes the fight so much easier for you. Okay, so we hear gunshots back from where we're being shot from. I'm starting to think that was probably an AI because they like didn't push up. I'm just going to keep continuing on to a new location. I don't really want to like go all the way back there at this point just to kill a bot. So now I'm going to rotate through this creaky compound area. I'm just kind of like, I don't have an AR, right? So I like, I'm playing the outskirts here. I'm trying to get an easy free shot, I'm trying to stay like off their visual audio and just not be seen. Just kind of line up trying to get like a nice little free shot on someone standing still just scoping around it's really dangerous to be down here you're right without an ar so i'm not gonna like get myself involved in a fight that i can't finish at medium range or long range okay so this guy pushes me we get back in the truck okay notice what i did there so i got in the truck he thinks we're leaving he's getting a shot so i'm like okay I've, I've already got kind of an advantage in this fight here i'm gonna drive the truck for a few feet and then hop out jump over the bed for a little head glitch thing shoot and then you know just do the simple pump swap there we line up our shots we hit them it's easy okay now we're in a nice little 1v1 here and i do not have an ar so i am at a disadvantage right now also i'm standing in fire <laughs> and that's generally not a good thing to do so we're gonna grab this slap juice here i'm just kind of chilling up here i know he's got a wild across he hasn't shockwaved on me yet so that means he doesn't have shockwaves if he did then he would already be on me okay he's gotten up the stair up the the jump flower there and uh Trying to get a nice shot on this guy. Nice. We hit him for 120. Okay, someone's coming up behind us. And so we're just out. This is a great move. I'm happy with my discipline here. So let's just play this back. First of all, we get high ground here, right? We get a nice little cover. Now we can do a head glitch here. Playing it fairly well. I'm not like allowing him to easily shred me. But I also was kind of trying to bait out a shot so I could hit him for the snipe. We see zip lines coming. We know that we're hurt. We don't have an AR and we're fighting two guys. This guy's either going to clean up him or clean up me. Whoever wins this fight, he's just going to clean up. This is not like an optimal fight for me. So I'm just out. I'm just going to leave. It's too many players. I don't care about finishing that guy off anymore. You can have the kill. Maybe I can get a nice easy shot on this guy. And let them fight. So that guy's moving fast. We we're unable to hit him. Now there's three. Look at this. There's three players right here. Things got crazy. Thank God we left. So even if we did kill the first guy and then we managed to just barely beat the second guy, we would have died to this third. So happy we left. The whole jungle's over here. So I'm just waiting. I'm chilling. I'm like trying to keep an eye on things. I just grabbed this combat because like I don't have anything in that slot. And sometimes it's nice to have another spray weapon if you run out of bullets in, in your first one. Having the option doesn't hurt. I'm trying to avoid taking the zip right here because I know that he's within 100 meters and I don't want him to see that I zipped. So I'm like looking for a way down right now that I'm not going to have to take a zip. If you've seen my visual audio video, you know that zip lines are seen within 100 meters. So I just marked that and I'm like, that's 70 meters. If he's below that, then yeah, he sees me. So that's why I'm like, dang, dude, I just don't want him to know that I'm taking zips down here. Okay, so they're fighting and it's just time to push in and uh, finish this fight. Honestly, I just wasted way too much time right there. I see that the crown is still down right here, so I know that, like, the fights haven't finished. There was still, there was three guys. I don't think any of them died immediately, so, like, they're still figuring it out, fighting it out, and this is the last guy picking up the crown right now. 
And uh, yeah, I was just waiting for him to be an easy target there, which is nice. He's in the water, he's looting. So I'm like, okay, just line up a shot, boom. It's kind of unfortunate. I don't know if snipers now just don't show you headshot damage, but I'm pretty sure that was a headshot, a 300. It's kind of like unsatisfying, you know? <laughs> Makes me sad. Or if it's just some sort of bug that happens sometimes, but I feel like I don't see that many headshot kills that, or like the damage form that often anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that down there just in case like someone's ratting. I don't know. Might not be destructive when you can. I'm trying to get high ground. I still don't have an AR, so I'm like not trying to like run in the middle of this place and get shredded. I'm not absolutely positive that was the last guy. I'm pretty sure he w it was, but I'm gonna check with this bounty board and see if there's a bounty near me. Okay, there is. It's a group, which I did not see in the fight, so that's not them. Generally, a bounty will grab the nearest player to you. One of the nearest players to you. I was kind of hoping someone would come for that crown, too, so we could, like, catch them. Okay, so we see a purple MK in here. We're in the water right now, so I really don't want to spend too much time in this water because I'll meet the same fate as the last guy. So I'm just generally trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. Checking for the slurp truck right here because there's usually a slurp truck in here. I can hit for full health. Oh, it's there. Nice. And the bees are attacking that propane tank. That's funny. Still just kind of checking my surroundings before I like walk out of the open. I just, I never trust being on the jungle floor. I've, I've experienced enough third parties and enough sneak attacks, surprise attacks that like, I just try to stay as vigilant as possible when I'm moving through the jungle floor. I got mud on us. So that's good. That's going to give us a little bit of a uh, speed here. And then we're going to rift out. It looks like Oh, we're going to open the, the thing. I should have rifted right there. We've got the storm on us, and we're, like, trying to rotate in this bad spot. Like, this is low ground. Definitely should have rifted out. And I'd like to think that, that was due to the fact that I'm probably talking to chat right now live on stream. But honestly, that was just kind of a bad play. It would have been so much easier to just glide out of this and not have to deal with anyone on this, like, high ground over here. It's a pretty dangerous spot to be coming up from. So I'm going to try to stay elevated as possible up here. Scan the perimeter. Don't see anything still. There's people like always at this gas station. Even though the deadly gas station is barely a thing anymore and it's all falling apart, it's still pretty deadly. People still love to hang out around here for some reason. I don't know if it's because they like catch a lot of people coming out of the jungle right here or if it's just like kind of center map still so people just hang out there. But yeah, a lot of fights here still, even though it's like it's in shambles, it's in pieces. It's still nearly as deadly as it used to be. Okay, so we're going to grab a car. We definitely don't want to waste our last shockwave. We're just trying to save that because we're going to need it. You always need a shockwave or some mobility in case someone catches you slipping. Driving towards island probably and our bounty. These guys are in a fight. Nice. Notice what I just did there. Basically, I stopped driving and I switched to the passenger seat because one, this is good cover. Like if there's someone hiding around and like they're going to shoot me, if I jump out of this truck, the truck's going to keep rolling past me and then I'm going to be out there. I'll be shooting at someone and someone might just tag me from the right. If I stay in the truck, I can just get back in the truck. You know, I can just drop my head back into the cab and I'm safe if someone starts shooting me. And like these guys aren't looking at me, so I'm not like worried about being like a strafing target or anything. I'm just trying to catch a guy off guard. Now I hit that guy's windshield out. Unfortunately, you do have to hit the windshield out before you can start damaging players when they're in cars. Uh, and then we, you know, we just tag him nice and easy right there. He wasn't defending himself, so super easy kill. And the bounty is still very close to me, which is weird. So I'm thinking that that Goku probably like ran over here. So maybe that's my bounty. I'm kind of like trying to figure it out. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I'm like, I don't remember this. I don't remember this, but I think that I heard him. And that's why I was like playing that bush for so long and just trying to figure out what's going on. Cause I thought I heard a footstep. Maybe, maybe I heard the invisibility. You can really hear the invisibility get activated. Let's, let's just play that back a little bit. I just want to, I'm curious myself. No, but my spidey senses are tingling and uh, I see this guy or at least now I do for sure. And that just makes it easy to pump him. Invisibility does not make you invisible. 
Gives you some camouflage, but not invisibility. Now notice what I did there. This is something that you should always do when you're in like these pump fights or someone has a pump or any shotgun really. You wanna time your movement and your peak to be right after they shoot their shotgun. I try to get a nice little <laughs> scope shot on them, quick scope on them, doesn't work. But now I'm just gonna let it like, so he shot right there. So like, he's not like, I mean, I guess the timing's kind of off because it takes three seconds to exit or like 0.3 seconds, but he shot and I'm just jumping out and then I'm like ready to get back in the truck. I'm just going to take a shot at him and then get back in and then probably do the same thing. But like he was just stuck on my hood, right? And he probably should have entered the truck here. He thinks he's going to hit me, but he just like, he's already lost this fight because he's so hurt. He'd probably be better off getting in the truck and switching to the driver's seat and driving away. And that might be that what he was trying to do, but I was just too fast to kill him. Either way, I think he could have made some better decisions there. Starting off with not using Invis, because <laughs> Invis is terrible. It's just not good. Not good against good players, at least, who are very aware and always looking around and listening. It's very loud when it gets activated, too. And it only lasts for like 30 seconds with the Mythic version, so it's really just not that good. It takes like two full seconds to pull out your weapon after you deactivate invisibility. So like, you're not gonna sneak up on someone, take them by surprise, and then shotgun them without them shooting you first. Unless they're really just absolutely unaware of your presence, which would be unlikely, because they'd probably hear you or see you before. Anyways, so I'm just scouting around here, looking for some players, just always in a vehicle, you know, I'm always preaching, always be using vehicles. That remains true, probably always will, as long as zero build plays out like this. I mean, when you had like infinite mobility, like swords and swinging devices, didn't use vehicles as much, but I still was using them just to save my cooldowns on those. But with only shockwaves in the game, it's like you always gotta be driving a vehicle if you can. All right, so we get cooked a little bit or our, someone shoots us in the back a little bit. Seemed like they might have decent aim. It marked us as well. This is a tough fight. I'm trying to get them to like peek for me. Just show your little head, please. I'm trying to like bait them, right? Like get close enough where they can like try to get one shot off and then I can quickly snipe them, but they're not falling for it. This seems like a good player from what I can tell so far. So I need to like kind of be careful with this engagement because a bad player would be like really aggressive and like be trying to like shoot me while I'm marked. But I think this guy realizes what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to get some space here and just try to get to zone and let him push into me because in this chapter, chapter four, season three, storm moves very quick. Once these numbers start getting down, we're down to eight players now. Now. And so I just kind of like want to let him push to me. It just gives me an advantage. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a crazy shot there. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? So, ooh, got close. So now we're gonna go down here. Nice shot. I think that was a headshot. Still no damage. Doesn't show any damage numbers, so it's hard to say, but I uh, just led this. She's running a straight line, so it's very easy to line up this headshot. And yeah, very well may have been an AI judging on their inventory. So now we're getting in a new car, which this car is faster. It's really fast on the road. And we're just gonna try to get like an advantageous position towards the edge of circle because we've already made a lot of noise at the gas station. I know there's a good player in the vicinity there. And so kind of just wanna like get to a, a high ground, get to a different spot and let enemies come to me. Okay, so we're gonna get lit up here a little bit. Our car's getting shot up. I'm just gonna remain in the car until I have to bail. And right there, I was getting close to blowing up. So I basically ditched the car so that it wasn't gonna blow up near me and light the grass on fire near me. But I saw this little bush here that I could get into um, when I was driving up the hill earlier. So that was kind of like my objective is like get up the hill to the bush and then play the bush but don't let your car blow up <laughs> near the bush because then it will light the bush on fire. So that's why I kept like kind of driving past it here and then exited using the bushes cover so that he couldn't hit me and that little rock. And then also now we're just kind of going to play this bush. This guy comes out of nowhere. Oh, dude. <laughs> rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Bad inventory management. So, took a snipe shot at him. Switched to my AR. And, uh... Unload my full clip. Now both guns are, unload are fully exhausted. Nothing in the mag in either of these. And now we're gonna push in. And <laughs> I tried to, like, swap to a snipe because I realized, like... I was out of AR and uh, 
It's not happening. We're just lucky this guy was on a reload and didn't, like, play that better. We probably should have died there. So definitely reload before you push. That was just too aggressive right there. Okay, we got slurps on us. So notice when we are when we finish this guy, we're looting. We're going to hit the slurp really quick. We're not even going to loot because we're set up. We do want, I think, oh. So notice I'm not, like, freaking out here. I've got a slurp going. I know this guy's right here. And I'm waiting for him to just kind of, like, make the mistake. And that mistake is not getting to cover. <laughs> Basically, I'm getting my shields back. I'm getting my uh, health back with the slurp as it's going. He's barely even hit me. You know, he cracked my shield. So now I'm just kind of like waiting for my shields to come back up. I'm kind of hoping that he'll put all of his clip into this tree because if he puts all of his clip into this tree, then he has nothing to fight me with unless he has a flapjack. And a flapjack at that range is not going to do as good of accuracy as an MK. So I'm waiting for him to kind of do something. He's not doing it. So what I'm going to do is pre-aim right here. And I'm going to start to fire at the tree. And this is a trick that I, I think I've taught most of you now from the assault rifles tips video. I'm going to aim below him and let the recoil climb up to his chest and then it's just going to be locked in forever there. It's just not going to move past that and it just makes it really easy to kill him. So see I, I aim low there and it just climbs right up and then it just stays there. I don't have to control recoil at all. Okay someone's coming over a zip and I'm getting shot so I'm out. I don't know where that zip is but I think it was right behind me and uh, I'm just not feeling it. So now we're going to go up here and get some high ground. There's only four players left, and I'm thinking that somebody's up here. I still know that that one good player is around, at least that looked like a good player, seemed like a good player. I know they're around, and I'm like, I just don't want to get shot. So notice that, like, as I'm coming up to this bush here, I'm playing this as cover so they can't, like, get an easy shot on me. And now I'm coming up the hill, and I'm zigzagging so that, like, they can't just spray me with an SMG or, like, you know, line up a super easy shot, you know, a pump headshot or something. That's kind of like what I do all the time as I approach bushes that I think people might be in. I'm like zigzagging or jumping or sliding or whatever. Just don't make it super easy for someone to just max pump you in the head or just start unloading on you without you being able to do anything. Okay. So now we see some gunfire. I think that's her, the uh, the player from earlier. And so four players left. I'm still in circle. I've got a great spot. The only thing I'm worried about right now is people sneaking up on me. Like, I know someone came over that zip earlier. That zip line right up here. So I don't want someone sneaking up this hill and hitting me while I'm looking at these guys. So I'm just kind of like checking on that, making sure that our bubble is safe. We're just trying to keep a nice safe perimeter before we start firing at these guys. Okay, right there, we're down to three players. I see this guy and I hear gunshots over there, so we know we're safe now. Now I'm just like free to shoot. I'm not a care in the world. I'm just trying to line up an easy shot. Hopefully someone peeks and makes a mistake. Okay, so now I decide that I should get to circle because these guys are in a fight right now. This is a perfect time to rotate. Get to circle and try to find some sort of advantage to catch them off guard. This zone's kind of rough right here. Like there's so much foliage, bushes, trees, bamboo, this little house, that little house. There's a lot going on right here. There's a lot of places for people to like get behind cover as they approach me. So what I want to do is actually not hold this spot. I want to try to sneak up on the backside right here and make a play like that because I know that these guys are in a fight. I'm not marked. They're not going to be like expecting me to be on their back so quick. This guy's playing this well. He's holding this roof up here. I'm just going to wait for him to stop moving or an easy shot at least. Nice. We land 130 and then we're going to push because this guy's all the way over here. He's not on this so I can push this guy and finish with one shot if we can land a good pump. Okay, she's going to shockwave out. That's a smart move. I would have done the same thing. And now this other guy's on me, though. He just, like, soaring sprinted to me. You can hear it come in. You hear that? That was actually someone soaring sprints coming in. Now I'm just going to play this right shoulder cover. Right shoulder peak. Easy. Just a note on this one here. She's gone, but, like, I don't know where this guy is. I'm just planning, trying to play as safe as possible. We're going to take a quick pump shot, hit him for 130 with our gold pump. That wasn't a great shot, but we still got him. And now when I climb this, I know that he's going to be trying to go off this edge. Like, at least he should be. He just got hit for 130 damage. He should be on the run. He should be trying to figure out something else than standing on this roof with me and losing this fight. So I'm going to start aiming to my left as I come up and just holding down that trigger, pulling down that trigger as soon as I can. And that's just going to line up a pretty easy shot and uh, make things very easy for me. So it's kind of just putting my reticle where I thought he'd want to go. And then this is a good player here, so we got to be a little careful. They just marked us. I know that one of them dropped a flare gun earlier, so 
What I should have done right there, I made kind of, this is a small mistake, right? I have two slurps. We're in the last fight. I should probably just drink a slurp right now and just be full health for this next fight, especially if I'm running down here because they're going to hit me and she does crack my shields, right? And gets a little more health off me. I was going to flare and then heal, but she's pushing me now. So it's, it's go time pretty much. Like we don't have time to be healing. Um, we got to find an advantage quick and we get it. That was a pretty nice little high ground retake. She wasn't laying on the roof. If she was laying on the roof, I would just turn around as I climbed up this. But like I can see her falling here, so I'm not going to turn around. I'm just going to stay on this roof, jump up on it, try to get a nice quick little peak shot on her, and then we just finish her off. Two nice shots. But this whole time, right, like this little roof structure fight here, this whole time, pretty well played. Like I didn't let people do much damage to me. I was playing this right shoulder peaks, barely peeking out, taking a shot, climbing up take another shot. That's how you play without an SMG. You know, if you don't have an SMG, you don't have a spray weapon, you gotta be doing that like pump and get back to cover, pump, get back to cover, or pump and juke, pump and juke sort of thing. That's pretty much it. That was the game. Um, and right here, I just recognize that this is a huge advantage. This is my time to line up a shot on this player and hit them hard. And if I can hit them hard enough, then I win. And we hit him for 134. And then she was still hurt, so we did like a 200 damage total to her. Made the fight easy for us. 134, 66, yeah. So yeah, that's that. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> you know, you guys say these, these videos are helpful. So if you found it helpful, please leave a like on the video. I greatly appreciate that. It helps my channel a ton. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please just drop a comment below. I would try to respond to every single question. I try to respond to every comment, but it's getting harder these days. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm getting a lot more, you know, support, a lot more comments. I love it. Keep commenting. I see every single one of your comments. I want to respond to every single comment. I try. Definitely gonna respond to every question if you guys have like actual legitimate questions about like what i'm doing or certain things in the game then i'd be happy to answer them i'd love to help you and if you haven't subscribed yet then i highly encourage you to do so check out my must watch playlist for zero build on my channel if you're interested in zero build you want to learn it i highly recommend that there's some really great value in there probably stuff you've never seen before that could really help you out all right guys thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day shinobi out